Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. Today I want to talk to you about anti-aging of hair. Yes, sounds very, very strange. So, I'm a young man, absolutely. Why would I be worried about anti-aging of hair? Well, to me, anti-aging of hair can be many things. So, aging hair does not just necessarily mean later on in life the concerns of thinning hair for both men and women. If you colour your hair, if you style your hair, if you use lots of heat, if you use lots of colour, bleach, it can certainly take a toll on your hair. Just like all the things we do in daily life, what can take a toll on our skin? So, the pollution, daily wear and tear, being out and about in different weathers, in a cold room to a hot room, so many different things can take an effect on our skin, just like it can on our hair. So since December, I have been exploring with this product by Hairfix. Now this is Follicle Plus Anti-Age. Now, this type of product will be fantastic for somebody who is trying to get body, trying to get thickness, and to try and keep thinning hair at bay. This product here uses its ingredient, this main sort of punch ingredient of caffeine, provitamin and nuclear trico hyalow, I believe that's pronounced, and that's a scalp stimulating serum to encourage healthier feeling, thicker looking hair volume formula. Now, why would you necessarily need to use this? So very often, anybody who's got fine hair, so for example myself, it looks super thick, but it's fine hair, lots of it, but the right tricks, it can look super, super thick. If you've got thinning hair or incredibly fine sort of see-through hair, it can still look really, really stunning. Whether you're a man or a woman, it can look really cool, it can look trendy, it can look really, really good. But if you're using heat, if you're using lots of methods, which can be often quite harsh, which we're all guilty of, of styling our hair, what can actually happen, even if you use the best products in the world, in terms of shampoo, conditioner, hairspray, those type of things, you can actually be counterintuitive and have a negative effect on your hair, making your hair appear finer, flatter, thinner. And of course, that's exactly what you don't want. So this product would be perfect for somebody who's got fine hair, somebody who's concerned about their hairline, perhaps somebody who's becoming a little bit thinner on top. It does not matter about age, even though it says anti-age on here, as I said, anti-age can be a concern which we all have to take into an account if we're going to be styling our hair over and over and over, if we're using lots of heat, if we're having highlights. It can take an aged effect to the hair, making it wear out, making it look thin, haggard and just damn right nasty. Good healthy hair shines and has character. This is what this product, I believe, in my opinion, is aimed at promoting among hair. So let's have a look at it in a little bit more detail. So we've mentioned that it's got the caffeine, the provitamin and the nuclear uh, trico uh element in hair. We've got the scalp stimulating serum to encourage healthier feeling, thicker looking hair volume formula. So what it does, so you have to use this, it's recommended from the packaging on the back here, which I'm going to go through in just a moment. So directions, apply one to two pumps to your fingertips and massage into the uh, massage directly into the scalp. A slight tingle may occur upon application. Leave overnight and next, mor and next morning, either shampoo or comb out, comb out through with a damp comb. For best results, apply follicle age, anti-age, three times per week. And that's exactly what I've done. And it's got special tip here, apply a little bit to the hair before blow drying to smooth and thicken. Now, since around December, I have either used this twice or three times a week. Now, I purchased this through QVC, as I mentioned, because of the problems, of course, with uh, with the COVID pandemic, not being able to venture out or anything as much, not being able to pick your own products and things. And of course, our whole lives have turned upside down. So I have purchased this from QVC. Now, the great thing with QVC, bearing in mind this is just my personal sort of view, I'm not represented or anything like them at all. Um, but if you don't like the product, if you don't get on with it, or if it causes you an effect or you're not happy with it, you can send it back. This product, I believe I paid around £40 for, and I straight off thought to myself, let's give it a go. I was a little bit anti-age, I was just about to turn over, um, but when I seen it, I thought to myself, okay, they were giving a demonstration, like the look of what it was doing to the person's hair. And they gave a demonstration on men's hair and women's hair, so it's perfect for either both short hair, long hair, thin hair, troublesome hair, you name it, perfect to try. So I've been using this two, three times a week, and what I notice straight away is it coats the hair. I only use this in the roots. I don't then pull it through my hair at all, but what I do after my roots, and then I just give it a loose brush all the way through. 
I notice it seems to plump the roots up really, really quite nicely. And when you blow dry the hair, it gives the hair structure and stability, which very often thin and thin hair can lack. So for example, it could be soft and sleek and look really, really amazing, but it just flops flat. So keeping a style in that type of hair is really difficult. It's not not possible, it's just really difficult. And it often takes a brigade of different products to keep that product in style for the whole day. Very often for me, I have to use copious amounts of hairspray, waxes, sprays, volumizing, uh, sort of root sprays, that type of thing, and even texturizing powders. Sounds crazy, but if you get the basics right, first of all, the perfect shampoo and conditioner for thickening hair, then use a root spray, you can absolutely achieve it. If you use this two, three times a week, I would absolutely say not to use huge amounts of it because one thing which I, I thought was a little bit of a negative, it goes a little bit like if you use too much, a little bit like a hairspray product, it goes a bit stiff and a bit cakey. But if you use it in the right way, two, three pumps throughout your hands and then onto your scalp, very often what I like to do actually is just actually part my hair a little bit and literally just squeeze it through in my hair several places. So I usually do one, two, three, four, five, six. I know it says not so much as that, but I like to. And I spend time a couple of seconds massaging my scalp. Vitally important to get that blood flow and all those rich sort of ingredients in the product really down into the follicles and you do feel it tingling. Then pass uh, like, a, uh, like a, a brush which I've got here, this is one of my favourite brushes, and then blow dry it how you want it, so like what I've got today, blow dry it up towards the direction of the ceiling, and then work your way through so you get all of the hair. What it does straight away is it coats the hair at the roots, makes it feel a bit thicker, and of course what it does is it gives you that structure and stability, so the hair naturally falls um, with a lot more volume and a lot more texture in the hair. So you're almost giving that structure in your hair for you then to go on and create your style, which anybody who has fine or thinning hair will know that that's vitally important for you to have a full bodied style throughout the day. Men like to have good looking hair as well. And when you haven't got short hair or when you're in this, this area of lockdown where we are in the middle of the pandemic and of course you can't get to the hairdressers enough if you've got longer hair then this is a perfect product to try if you're trying a new style you're growing your hair out a bit but possibly you're thinking it's a bit thin i mean my hair longer when it's when i pass a straightener through it is very often in areas like paper thin so it needs a lot more um a lot more help whereas if i do a style like this then it looks a lot thicker. If I have fine hair, then I have to use the right products for it to look really, really good. And the reason for that at the moment is not because I'm thinning or anything like that, but because my hairdresser um, got a little bit scissor happy and cut into my hair with thinning shears a little bit too much. So if that's happened to you, this would be a perfect product as well, because it boosts thickness, volume, texture in the hair very, very naturally as well, which is really, really good. So let's tell you a little bit more about it on the product here. So Follicle Max Follicle Anti-Age is not specific treatment for loss or greying. So apparently the nutrients in here as well counteract against greying hair. Now I'm not so sure on that. I have, I have, I think personally, and I've showed my, I showed my mum and she doesn't think they are, I think they're just like blonde hairs, but I seem to have one or two hairs in the front here, which seem to start to go a little bit grey. But I had friends at school who went grey super, super early in their teens. So quite possibly could be, you never know. So apparently this helps with that as well. But of course, I want to be very honest, I cannot comment on that at all. But it says it does that. It's got rather good reviews online. Um, in my opinion, it's a really great product. So let's read on a little bit more. So follicle anti-age is formulated to support the follicle when massaged in. A blend of photokeratin, including the uh, hair fix keratin ingredients, add body and shine to the hair. That they do. I'll be very honest, I'm not so sure on the shine. I think that's more your natural character of shine because I found it to be a little bit matte in the hair. So that's the one thing I probably wouldn't agree with on here. And let's move on. So the Nucleo uh, Trico how, um, and I just hope I'm pronouncing that right, I pride myself on how I speak, I was brought up to speak properly, um, and that, I, I'm not so sure if I'm pronouncing that right, but there we go, unfortunately we'll just move on, <laughs> um, can help to promote a healthy scalp and follicle. Caffeine, topically uh, applied caffeine has been shown to counteract the shrinkage in hair follicles. Now, just very, very quickly, because this is a huge topic, when it says shrinkage of follicles, we all have testosterone in our body. Uh, men's hair pattern thinning and female pattern thinning is slightly different, but 
they branch from that same type of issue where the byproduct of testosterone is DHT. Now, DHT binds to our follicles. It's all present in our body. But if it's more um, and you've got a sensitized sort of scalp or your, your follicles are uh, or sensitized to it, I don't mean if you've got an itchy or an out of balance scalp. I mean if your follicles are sensitized to the byproduct of testosterone, DHT. What that does over time is it kind of strangulates the follicles and then over time the hair gets thinner and thinner and thinner and thinner until eventually it can't produce the hair. That's where you see that, that uh, stereotypical sort of bowl patch at the back for men's pattern baldness and the temple sort of really, really high. Female pattern thinning is, of course, the loss of density. Um, so not rather usually losing the whole sort of head of hair. It just gradually goes thinner and thinner. And then you're kind of left with rather thin type of hair. So which can still look beautiful, can still look amazing. Um, like those sort of blowout looks and things you can still achieve. But of course, we all want to try and hold on to the most hair as possible. So that's what that comes from. Caffeine is thought to look after the follicle and keep those effects of that DHT at bay. That's my opinion. I may have got that wrong, but in my humble opinion, that's what I understand to be the effects of DHT and male and female pattern thinning. Um, so it's a really great product. I myself absolutely love a caffeine-based product, love Alpazin hair energizer and love Alpazin uh, shampoo. And I use them every now and again just to give that, that burst of energy to my hair. And I really do feel every now and again, if I get a bit of a thinner area, that it boosts the energy and I, I can feel like sort of small, sort of spiky hairs. Um, and of course, really, really great. So that's what I like. Um, so this has got that in here. Of course, it is a bit more of an investment, so I would expect higher end sort of ingredients in here as well. Um, so we've talked about the directions. The special tip on here is in applying a little bit to the hair and then blow drying through to make the hair thicker. When you blow dry the hair through with a brush like what I've got here, what I've done today, you do get a real smoothness in the hair and it does certainly make it feel really full and thick as well. Um, just making sure I haven't missed anything on here. I just want to go through some of the ingredients on here. Um, so we've got hydrogenated castor oil, which is going to look after the hair and the scalp. We have got copolymers in here, which will work to plump the hair up and make it appear thicker. We have also got, I believe, let's have a look. We've got the caffeine in here, of course, which we've discussed. We have got the hydrolyzed corn protein, the hydrolyzed soy protein, the hydrolyzed wheat protein. All of these products are readily found in items which say to thicken the hair. So if you imagine a follicle of hair or a cuticle of hair, and then these type of proteins, these hydrogenized proteins sort of elope themselves around the hair. So it plumps, it makes it look thicker and fuller. And the caffeine and the provitamins in here will look after the scalp and promote thicker hair. But of course, the ultimate question, because I think we've got biotin in here as well, not forgetting that, which is great for the appearance of thickening hair and keeping hair full and thick. And then we've got a few other ingredients in here, which I presume, as I'm not very sciencey in regards to the ingredients, when you see those huge long names, are all in regard to the provitamin in here. And of course, that nucleo, trico, halal, halal, however you pronounce it, I do apologise, um, sort of technology in this product here. So great product. Ultimately, does it stop hair loss. Now, I, of course, haven't got hair loss. I have thinner areas. Um, and what I have noticed is when I style my hair or when I wash my hair and I've used this, I don't see as much of hair fall as what I normally would with just a normal shampoo and conditioner or my shampoo and conditioners, which I go to. Of course, I can't categorically say that that is from this product, but I can only relate to this product. Um, it would certainly be something I would recommend. And in terms of keeping the hair youthful and full, yes, absolutely, it certainly does do that. So an all round product. So if you're looking at this and you're in your your sort of later years and you're thinking, I really need a product which is going to help me with volume and you're, a, you're a, a man or a woman, then fantastic. Give it a try. If you're my age or younger and you think I really want something to help help my temples a bit thicker and my top of my head a bit thicker, then this would be really, really great to try. There are other products as well in the hair fix range. You can have a look on their website, too. I personally like to buy this from QVC here in the UK. Um, I know they have a QVC in America. I'm not 100% sure if it's on there, um, but certainly something which I would absolutely recommend you having a look. Okay, thank you very much indeed for watching this clip. I always love and enjoy talking about products which boost thickness in hair and texture, fullness, volume, that type of thing. I love my full volume textured looks. And as we're growing the size out, we are exploring with some different styles, particularly longer hair, because my hair now is down to my chin. Um, or perhaps just a little bit shorter, but I think we're near enough down to my chin now. I haven't actually looked at the length of my hair for a little while. So 
Hopefully you have subscribed to my channel, if not please do, so you can keep in touch with me on all my great, I say great, my, I hope you agree, clips coming uh, through. Um, and as I say, thank you very much for being here, and until next time I wish you well, stay safe throughout this really testing time for us all, my very best wishes to you and your family, and until next time, we will see you then, bye for now.